somebody wants to speak to you, Taurus, they have something to say. They want to come in. Honey, I'm home. Cancerian energy, three of wands. They see you as their person, Taurus. Having a lot of fire in the tummy. Woo, lots of passion. Look at that. Oh my God, this is almost like a miniature reading here. All right, so let's go ahead and cut the deck and see what's going on and see what we have. Okay. In the recent past, we have the Aries Queen. Okay, so there we have Taurus. You are dealing with an Aries Queen energy. That is very fiery, very successful. The two of you, this is a mutual energy, and the two of you are very much, very independent, and this can cause a little sparks to fly. <laughs> it can be very sexy or it can get a little bit stressful. Let's see, Five of Swords, I could feel that. That's not usually even what I say about the Queen of Wands, but Five of Swords says that right now, the two of you are in a negative little spiral here. And uh, Taurus, you're, you know, you and your person are both to blame for this, quote unquote. But there's something that's going on here that it's, uh, it's like mind games, it's discomfort, it's being a little, you know, edgy with each other. What, Taurus, does your person, how they view the situation? The world card. Well, they think the world of you. They want the relationship to be successful. Your person feels as though it could be very successful. Yeah, they definitely want to close out any negativity. Um, this is a person who could be very different from you, different culture, different country, different ethnicity. But it really speaks to the fact that both of you have everything that it takes to go to the next level. Your person would like to do that. The way they view you, Taurus, is Eight of Swords. You're holding back. You seem frustrated. You seem all up in your head. So we have Gemini, Aries, Aquarius, and Saturn energy. Um, so what we see here, and this is Aquarius also, excuse me, but the Eight of Swords, they see you holding back, they see you frustrated, and for many of you, this frustration doesn't have anything to do with your person, and yet you feel like there's some, some head games here, and you are a part of this. These are mutual energies, so I'm not going to try to uh, blame it on anyone, really. The Justice card, how your person feels in their heart space. Well, this is Venus and Saturn. And so what we see is a person who loves you very much. They want the best. They want the best in the relationship. Your person feels very strongly that you could be the one for them, that they would like to have a, you know, this is the seventh house of marriage, of love, of partnership. This is a card that indicates uh, all the paperwork that would be involved in a committed relationship, a formally committed relationship. It can be anything from a marriage license to buying a home together, but you know, a relationship that is legally binding. So your person's very balanced. They have reasonable expectations. Okay, let's see how they view the situation unfolding. Ten of Cups, they feel as though the two of you, this is Pisces energy, they feel as though you could be there happily ever after. This is a card of just loving for pure love. This person is not motivated by money. They're not motivated by anything other than pure love, joy, happiness, sensuality, being reliable for each other. The energy that's hidden between the two of you is a wheel of fortune. This too shall pass. Good or bad, the wheel of fortune always changes. It's Jupiter energy. It is good luck. Sagittarius energy. So both of you feel like you're going through a cycle that things will get better. Spirit's recommendation or advice for you, two of coins. Don't make a decision yet. Taurus, people, you know, the energy that's coming in here is that you're juggling two different ideas, two different people, two different situations, and that because of that, because you are in a state of not knowing really what you want, you should make no decision. The outcome card at this time, well, Taurus, there you are in your reading. That is the Empress energy. That's the planet Venus and the moon, you know, combined you want to manifest this person this is your outcome is manifestation of pure love beauty pleasure everything that's enjoyable in life 
I couldn't possibly ask for a better outcome for you. But we're going to have to look at these cards and see how you're going to arrive in this place. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what the qualifiers or the clarifiers are. So Taurus, what is going on? Fiery queen, energetic, bossing up. You're both good in business. Both of you have a really astute way. You're very attractive to the opposite sex. And we have the clarifier is the Nine of Pentacles. Well, that's pre-Empress energy. Both of you appear to be single, ready to mingle. Other people, a lot of people find both of you highly attractive. The Six of Cups says that, you know, you really do love each other. It is a card that can be a love based on uh, it's Scorpio energy. You might have known this person for a long time, but it usually involves some sort of uh, death rebirth relationship and your person wants to reunite with you. The Ten of Swords is telling me that the two, somebody went silent here. Somebody went silent because we get one Hermit card and ten swords. So both of you are really feeling that the other does not is not supporting or is not available emotionally in a supportive way. Something that you've been very accustomed to. We see you in this energy with your person of really both feeling slighted, very upset, very agitated. So why? What brought this about? What is? What are the circumstances that brought this energy into play in this reading? Empress energy. Okay. Empress energy, again, is pure pleasure. So it looks as though the two of you have been having so much fun, having sort of this perfectly sweet, kind, loving, intimate, supportive relationship that both of you just had the expectation that that would continue on without any anything happening here. The Two of Cups. We have two soulmate cards already on the board. The Two of Cups, the Six of Cups. Both of you, though, are feeling frustrated with one another. Now we have the Lover's card, for gosh sakes. Taurus, somebody or both of you need to snap out of this energy. The Gemini energy speaks to the fact that there's you know, both of you can make the decision to move past this and the movement of cups. So we do see the Knight of Cups coming in. The energy is that this will be resolved by somebody just being very kind, loving, romantic. It's Pisces energy. The Strength card is telling us that you both have the strength, the fire in your belly. Uh, that is Leo energy. You're both very proud, both very fiery. You can both be a little bit salty for sure, but that energy is very powerful. It's positive. And here we have the Universe card, which is the equivalent to the World card. So the two of you need to make that decision to stay on a positive note. It looks like when when something takes you out of the energy of pure pleasure, both of you don't, you have a tendency to go to sort of a dark place sort of quickly in this connection. You know, you jump to conclusions that are actually not good conclusions. They're not sound. Both of you want to hold on to each other and both of you get jealous and upset and undone by other people who cause issues in the relationship. I am not reading this as a cheating card. I mean, I guess it would be possible with the two of coins, with the three of swords, but I'm really not seeing any agreement that has been violated. But why is it here? Nine of cups. Both of you want to eat, drink, and be merry. Both of you are being very cautious right now. Very trying to look at things from a different perspective. Why do we have the Eight of Swords energy? We have the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. All up in your head, holding back, remorse and regret. What is this remorse and regret about? Because this is how your person views you. The Three of Wands. Okay. So you're having remorse and regret, Taurus, because you really thought that this person was your person. You felt that the decisions had already been made. You felt that... You know, you had already sort of gone through the worst of it, and you're finding yourself still in this energy of needing to defend the relationship. And Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, seems to be an issue here. So let's see why your person is feeling all of this love. 
beautiful love. I like the justice card, but this person wants balance. And the six of coins is about balance. So let's see what we have. Five of coins. So in your person's heart space, Taurus, they feel like you've left them out in the cold. They feel as though they were sort of dumped on their head. It is a card that's more spiritually based, but it does speak to the fact that they don't feel as though they were treated fairly. They gave you a lot of love um, and they feel as though you're not so interested. They feel as though there's a little bit almost of a punishment theme going on here. They feel as though, well here, good, stability is restored, but it does show that there's a sort of, when things, things go really well and then if there's stress or tension they seem to fall apart equally quickly because the assumption the darkest thoughts are always the the darkest uh, energy is always sort of the conclusion is to jump to the conclusion something negative is happening so it does speak to the fact that the two of you need more balance your person sees that the Ten of Cups, you love each other happily ever after. Spirit of Swords, you both intellectually know that you're one another's person. However, both of you are trying to remain aloof. This energy is, there's someone in this, in this relationship, Taurus, that is your card, that basically if this is not going to be happily ever after, there's this feeling that you don't want to invest. You want to invest in this relationship, but you also want someone who's not only equally invested emotionally, but financially. You want to have an abundance with this person. We have the sun card, the happiest card in the deck, but there's some insecurity and instability in terms of being able to maintain the happiness. Once everything goes south and somebody gets mad, it just goes dark. It's like the lights are turned out on the relationship. Now, this is all manageable. This is really a matter of really being on the same page, being able to, to be very stable and steady with each other. So the Wheel of Fortune, why is it here? What's turning? The Judgment card. So it is time to make a judgment call. It's time to make a decision. It's really time to look at everything that you know about your person and decide whether you want to invest spirit is supporting it let's see what else we have the heart of pentacles so there is a desire to nurture each other very powerful that's a fatherhood card that's you know i'm going to take care of you don't worry i've got your back why what are the two of you juggling here what is spirit seeing that we don't the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so timing is everything, as we like to say in the real world. People say it all the time. We get that an apology needs to be given. It looks as though there's... The two of you need to be able to apologize very quickly when there's a misunderstanding or when there's a stressful moment. I'm getting that the two of you have a tendency to be very sharp with your words, and that happens to be something that you can magically heal the relationship with. The Magician card is healing energy. It is Virgo and Gemini energy. So we have Gemini, we have Taurus again, Taurus, Two of Coins is Capricorn, um, Six of Pentacles is Taurus energy, Four of Wands is Aries, and um, we have Pisces twice there. What else do, needs to be, okay. I was trying to say what else needs to be eliminated in the Two of Coins. Okay, you need to eliminate the idea that there are other options out there that are going to make you as happy as this one. So we're seeing that both of you get in this energy sometimes, but you especially, Taurus, um, you get in this energy of like, well, I think this is my soulmate. I think this is my twin flame. But oh, well, if it doesn't work, I'll just, you know, hop on the next bus and take that ride. And I'm really getting that that's what spirit is saying. Don't do that. You know, don't don't make that assumption. Don't go there. So now we have the energy of the Empress clarified by the magic of the magician. And now we have the star card, love and healing and spiritual healing and joyfulness a small offer is made something is said or done to heal the relationship 
both of you really can do this. You're both very good friends when you are on your best behavior. Let's see. Justice card again. Somebody, there is one person in this relationship, and Taurus, I believe that it could be either one of you, but I think both of you, once you get mad, you lose your balance, but it does show that when you can maintain being fair to one another, this is a lifetime love. This is a lifetime story of a love relationship that can really go the distance, bring you the happiest uh, love that you've ever had. But it does show the two of you get way too salty over things that are said that are not even meant negatively, okay? So, Taurus, you know, you're, you're you know, I love you, Taurus. Um, so the, the, the thing that I would have to say to you is being stubborn about being right is being told or foretold as having a negative outcome for you, okay? So if you're stubborn, it's like, oh, I know I'm right. You know, we're, nobody's, every, nobody's right all the time. So I would just say that when you get in a stubborn moment, take a deep breath, go off to another room, balance yourself. And, um, you know, no shade. We all get that way. We all have Taurus energy in our chart. So well, however that resonates. Acceptance and transformation. Yes, 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 yes. That is the energy coming in with this magician, the empress, the star, the healing, the friendship, the offer. I love it. And expansion. So Taurus, this looks like an energy, you know, it's something that's been around in this relationship. It's something that you can conquer once and for all. And miracles, look at that. We have beautiful rainbow waterfall. So there's all that gorgeous energy there. Let's see what we have about that five of swords, the negative energy. Spirit, tell us something about this energy that would help Taurus deal with that sort of knee-jerk reaction to get upset. The gift. This person really is a gift to you. This person is probably the best love relationship you've ever had. And to be have gratitude. Ah, there's the blessing. Have gratitude for the blessing. You know, you have to get into a more spiritual realm and and not uh, not be involved in. Ah, the big behind. Okay, so Anybody who just gets really huffy here is going to look very bad in the relationship. The big behind, you know what it means. It's showing your tail feathers. So what we have here is gratitude, counting your blessings, and showing great appreciation for each other. And if you get a bad mood, find a corner of the house or the room or get in your car and drive around, but do whatever you need to to stay balanced. Taurus, this is a beautiful, lovely relationship. It is twin flame. It is the lover's card. It is a magical relationship. So, you know, don't take it for granted. Just be your beautiful, lovely self, you and your partner. You're on the same page. You love really deeply. So I'm going to leave it there. I am broadcasting from Chicago. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're watching the video from. Thank you, Taurus. Bye-bye.